Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make roleplay vehicle commands. So basically I'm going to show you how to make um, engines so you can um, turn the engine on and off and the lights and also the bonnet and the hood and that. And also I'll show you how to make a lock command with the doors as well. So basically there, there, is, there is a function called manual vehicle engine and lights. Like you can use this and it will automatically turn all the vehicles um, engines off and the lights off. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, like a manual way to do this. So we don't have to use this because if you spawn a bicycle, you'll have to turn the engine on for the bicycle. So we're going to avoid using this and we're going to manually turn uh, the, en the engines and that off ourselves. So basically what, what, the way we're going to start is we're going to start with uh, an enum for the vehicle, for the vehicle data. So I'll quickly paste this here. Um, I'm going to use Z command because I'm going to do the, uh, the commands in Z command. So add Z command um, and then um, add, add this vehicle data enum so basically we're, we're going to save the um the plate i'm going to show you how to uh, change the plate we're, we're, um we, we need to save the engine lights alarm doors bonnet boot and um objective and if the vehicle's locked so we might not actually need to do that so we're going we're going to um instead of doing it here we'll go like this actually we'll go doors and we'll just go locked because we'll have that for the for the um, the lock command. So these are basically all the things you need. So we'll start with that. And um, what we'll, what I'll do is um, the first thing we need to do is um, we'll do a loop under. So basically, this is where you're going to add all your stat add static vehicles. So you add static vehicles um, need, need to go here first. So you create them first, and then um, what what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop. So for new v equals zero v is less than max. Uh, vehicles and then V plus um, plus uh, we don't need to check if it's a valid vehicle so basically what we're going to do is we're going to set all the vehicles um, um, data so locked um, th this is going to be locked so locked so we're pretty much just going to save all the data um, and turn to the vehicle params off so the engine lights alarm doors which is locked uh, bonnet boot and objective uh, so now we've done that now basically what we need to do is we need to uh, use this function called z vehicle params um, ex so basically after um, actually we're going to change that to v let me quickly change that to v all right so now basically um we, we need to use this function and this is where we set the vehicle's parameters so we'll go uh, v there v so the 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 engine just so uh, i can show what they had the engine is to turn the engine on and off lights alarm on and off doors is which is is actually going to be locked uh that that's what we're going to use for lock so the doors uh the bonnet the boot and the objective the objective is just like a um it's like a, a pickup um, little icon above the vehicle to tell you if, the, if it's the objective or not. But we're all we're just going to leave it off always. So basically, now we saved it all. Now we can set uh, the vehicle's parameters like that. So now all we need to do is um, now this has actually turned all the engines off. So basically, what we want to do is we want to if there is bicycle, there's only three bicycles. So what we want to do is we want to make a little function like this. And we'll go, we'll put that there. So is vehicle bicycle. Um, and like if it is, we, we, we want to turn the engines off. So basically, if we go like this, and it, if it's a bicycle, we want to um, turn the engine on. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll only turn the engines on for the bicycle. So they're manually on. And we'll make it so you can't uh, toggle the engine uh, with the command for bicycles. So that's basically um, turning all the all the vehicles off that that you've just uh, created here. And if there any of them's bicycles, it's going to turn the engine on and leave it on. So uh, we won't have to toggle that. So now we've done that. Basically, we go to on vehicle stream, and this is where the the magic uh, um, happens. So basically, we need to get this, and we need to reset the the parameters. Um, but for when it streams in, but this is the vehicle ID, obviously. So we'll go vehicle. All right, so that's done. All right, now um, this is where we've got to um, create a a new function for this. We need to we'll create a function here, and we'll call it stock uh, set vehicle params for all. So um, yeah. We, only, we don't need to do any parameters, so we'll go like that, and we'll put this here. Um, first, actually, we've got to do a for loop. So for new i equals zero, i is uh, less than max vehicles. 
uh, and then I plus plus. Or oh, actually, this is max players. Sorry, because we're doing we're we're turning the um for all the players. So we 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 don't need to check if they're online or anything because we're doing it for every single player ID. So this is how the uh, the vehicle gets um the the doors get turned on and off. So set vehicle parents for all. Um, and then we'll um, actually doors locked. That's the parameter we need. Actually, these are all the parameters. Actually, um, yeah, it's car ID, player ID. Oh, actually, no, it's just vehicle ID, objectives, and that. So now we um, for we set vehicle parents for player for each player for that vehicle ID. We leave the objective of what it is, and the doors locked like that. So this is how we uh, lock the doors. So we'll post that there. And uh, doors locked, which would be locked. So now this will actually lock the doors if they're locked. So the objective is is this. So now that's um, actually locking the doors uh, for, for when the vehicle streams in for each player. So we, we don't need to do on, on vehicle spawn or, or anything like that. But uh, yeah, those are those done. Which one else was it? Plate. Uh, we've got to set plate. So um, uh, the vehicle plates, uh, what, what can we set it as? Um, they'll be normal plates, but I, I can actually change the plate down here. So what I'll do there is, um, yeah, so that's basically it. So now on vehicle streaming, um, they're, they're streaming in and, and locking the doors if, if they need to. So now we get, we can go to the command. So we'll go command engine player id params like that we'll get a command going all right so now we need to check they can only turn the engine on and off if they're in a vehicle so if uh not is player in any vehicle or uh get player state does not equal player state driver. So if they're not in a vehicle or not a driver, we return the command, we return send client message, and we tell them um, that you must be in a inside a vehicle. All right, so now they're actually in a vehicle. Now what we can do is go new vehicle id equals um get player vehicle id so now we've got their vehicle id we can toggle the engine or we can see if the engine if if the engine equals vehicle params off this is where we turn it on turn on else it's vehicle params on we turn off so this is uh this is as easy as it's going to get now we've actually done it all like this so we just go like this vehicle params equal vehicle params on and then we uh set the vehicle params for that so vehicle params on and we just turn the engine on so that turns it on so what what we can do here is um do game text for player and send them a string saying um like a green one saying engine on uh what is it uh three seconds and that's style five so we'll go like that so that's turning the engine on now we turn the engine on else here they've typed the engine again we set it off the engine off and make it red so that's green and that's red so that's as simple as it gets it might not like that so we'll go like that let's see if that compiles undefined uh, vehicle id for 47 uh, v sorry so there that should compile there it is that's as simple as it is to turn the engine on and off so now they can turn the engine on and off we can pretty much copy that and go lights they have to be inside of a vehicle obviously for the lights and we can just go lights like this oh 
light, big light, big light, big light, and that that's uh wait light, light on, lights off. So that's the lights done. So what else is there? There's um the alarm um. Well, yeah, yeah, the alarm will have to be the nearest vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll make another, another, um, another stock here. But I'll go like this to make it quicker. So we'll go uh, get nearest vehicle to the player ID. So we can go uh, max vehicle. This is where we need to add a, a little function here. I mean, uh, we need to add this native. You, you have to actually do this for 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 this native uh, native to work. It, it's actually in Samp, but you have to physically add the native for it to work. So we'll go like this, and we'll go get nearest vehicle, and then if is valid vehicle, we only want to go through max vehicles, and we only want to go through the valid vehicles. So the nearest vehicle, and then we'll go new float pos uh, three, and then we'll go get vehicle pos, and we'll go x y z. Uh, now we've got the vehicle. Now we can go if is player in range of point within uh, let's say five meters. Of the X, Y, Z of the vehicle, we want to. That's got to be I. Need to return I. Else here we return invalid vehicle ID. That means it's gone through the loop and it hasn't found a, a new new vehicle. So now we've got the nearest vehicle. Now we can do some more complex commands like um, engine vehicle now alarm. Um, we can just go like this. Return one alarm. So now we can go new vehicle ID equals nearest vehicle ID. If vehicle vehicle ID equals invalid vehicle ID means they're not then there's no vehicles within five meters. So we return send client message. Uh, minus one is just white color. Um, and then we can go like this, go error, you are not near, wait, there are no vehicles nearby to toggle the alarm for. Alright, so now we've got an actual vehicle ID, we can toggle the alarm. We can just go like this. Get the alarm. If it's off, we'll put it on like that. Alarm. Alarm on. Alarm off. All right. So that's how we can toggle the alarm on and off. And now uh, the basically the bonnet and the boot. We can go bonnet. Bonnet, go alarm bonnet, bang, bonnet, open, bonnet, close, alright, so the, that's the bonnet done, so there's that done to toggle the bonnet for, now we can copy that, the lock command is a little bit different, uh, so what I'll do boot, bonnet and boot, 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 close, so that's those, so there we go, we've got um, engine, so you manually turn the engine on and off, lights, alarm, you have to be near a vehicle for them, bonnets and boot obviously, and it will really only um, open for um, for vehicles that actually have bonnets and that. So um, go like that. And now what's the last one we've got to do? So we've got alarm, bonnet, boot. We're not doing objective. And now the last one is locked. So 
Now the lock command is going to be a little bit different, but it's still um, this type of command. So, um, so there are no vehicles nearby to toggle the lock for. So th this one, um, you, like you're gonna you're gonna have to like I'll show you in a sec. But so this one's for the lock, so we can go locked. I can go like this, locked, locked, lock, open, lock, close. And then uh, this is where we set vehicle parents for all. We'll grab this. And when, it, when it's locked, we can go bang. So that's how, how the, the lock command works. But th this means like um, one, once the, the once like someone locks a vehicle, nobody's going to be able to enter the vehicle until somebody unlocks it again. So this is sort of where it comes into you. Like you got to like if you can only allow people that own certain vehicles, you just do a check like here to check if they own the vehicle. You know what I mean? Uh, do they own the vehicle? You know, you can do a check there, and then you, they're like um, and then like only people that own the vehicle of this vehicle ID um, uh, will be able to lock it and close it. And what you can do is like if it's locked and once they leave, you can, um, un what you do is you, you save this vehicle ID to the, a player enum. And w once they disconnect, you just unlock the, vi the, the lock for that vehicle ID, just so you can unlock um, if they quit sort of thing for normal vehicles and that. But that, that, uh, that, that just makes the a little bit more complex for the, the lock command, but um, because we're using set vehicles parent for all. So uh, yeah, not even you will be able to enter the vehicle uh, once you lock it and that. So that's uh, basically all, all, all the commands. Um, th those are the basic uh, role play commands um, you would need. Let let's just see if that compiles. Yeah, it does. But uh, yeah, guys, um, that, that should be the end of the tutorial. Um, I'll, I'll make sure it all works and that. And um, what I'll do is I'll, if there's any bug fixes and that, I'll let you know um, in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.